Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So today I have an exciting product to review with you. So this is the Paul Rubens 48 Metallic Glitter Watercolour Paints and I'm so excited to try them. Thank you so much to uh, Paul Rubens for contacting me. They actually contacted me to um, see if I was interested in showing and using the new oil pastel sets that they have recently bought out but I said that um, I don't really have um, much experience of using oil pastels in colouring books um, I do want to eventually get to it like in single sided uh, colouring books but at the moment it's not something, it's not a medium I'm comfortable really using in colouring books because I've just not had I've just not tried it out really. I have used a little bit of it on PDF pages but not in colouring books. So I asked if instead um, I could um, show this product uh, because obviously watercolours, especially metallic glitter watercolours are something that I use a lot on my channel. So um, I will let you know about these two new oil, set, oil pastel sets though. There is a 48 colour oil pastel set um, which is new and a 72 floral colour oil pastel set so for the first one I'm just going to see if I can go to the link here on my iPad so um, basically these are those so I don't know if you can see it properly but anyway these are the 48 colours Heya H-A-I-Y-A, I've probably not said that right, but there is a 10% voucher as you can see on Amazon UK, so that's quite good, so very look very rich and creamy. And then the other one, which I'll just go to in a second and then I'll show you, um, is the four, 72, sorry, 72, um, whoops. 72 floral uh, colours that you've got here, Artist Soft Oil Pastel Set. So that is a f that is £45.99, um, but you do get 72. That's probably one of the biggest sets I've actually seen. And uh, you can apply a 5% voucher though. Um, I think there are other sets available, but those are the two new ones. I hope I can start using oil pastels eventually. I will probably use them, like I said, in single sided colouring books at first but at the moment it's not something that I'm confident using because uh, I've just got no experience of it so back to this uh, by the way I will have all the links for all the products um, that I've spoken about in this video today so um, these are the 48 glitter metallic watercolours now I do have I purchased the smaller set of these watercolours quite a while ago I think it was when I first got into adult coloring um, a few like maybe a year later I think I bought the um, smaller set of this and I did use them a fair bit and uh, they are lovely lovely paints they're very good quality as you can see from the box it's really nice um, box and you get this lovely beautiful pink cloth which I actually never use because I did get one of these pink cloths in my um, in my set that I actually purchased myself so um, there's the full cloth I actually never use it but now that I've got one more spare cloth I might actually try it out but yeah it just seems too nice to use really so We've got it opening like this and it's just in the same format as my other smaller set. You can get these in smaller sets as well. I think there's a 24 set. Let me just quickly check. Um, yeah, there is a... this 48 set but there is a 24 set and I think there's a 12 set as well if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me see... Just having a little look. Yeah, I think there's a 24 set and there's also a 12 set. So there's some information here. Um, with certain colours, so a little leaflet included. And then we have a beautiful... Um, let me just reduce this light a bit. That's too bright. 
So here we've got all the colours listed um, in here, which is great. I think some of these colours will be the ones in the 24 set, of course, and the smaller 12 set. So here they all are, and they're looking like little pieces of candy, really. Very excited about trying these. So I am not going to show you how I struggle. I am showing you a little bit, as you can see in um, taking all these apart but I think this is the first colour pearl silver white because there is a little number on it C100 and then they don't have the names on the actual pans but I am going to swatch these out that's the first colour then I'm going to take all the wrapping off I just wanted to show you what the wrapping looks like because it is a gorgeous presentation and then I'm going to swatch them with you and then possibly use them on a page so I know that swatching might be quite boring as well so what I'll do is I'll when I do the swatching I'll maybe film a little bit of the swatching um, and then I will use them I think on a colouring page so I shall see you in a bit so you know I said they haven't got labels on the actual paint pans. Well I just discovered that the um, the wrapping has got the label on it. So that's one, I mean it took me about three or four pans because I'm so silly that I didn't realise. But anyway, you do have the little label here. So I'll just show you. So this is, for example, um, one of the wrap wrappings. And then you just take off this bit and then this bit and then here you've got the information of what paint it is so this is wine red pearlescent watercolour paint so very professional um, it's just you know it's a user error as in it's me so yeah they do have lovely labels on them and so I'm just going to continue and unwrap the remaining ones Okay, so back again. So this is a, a different day, a few days later actually. So I have put water um, on these pans here, these two rows here, and I'm going to do some swatching. Now I might just start off swatching and then <coughs> turn the light down a little bit, bring you in. I might just start off my swatching, just move this light a little bit back. And then um, what I might do is, just thinking where, right, so this will have to be here, won't it, I suppose, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll start swatching and then um, I won't do them all on here because we want to see what they look like on a page really. That's beautiful. Look at that pearl silver white. I don't know if you can see that. But of course I will show you them all dry. Now some of them are a little bit thirsty, the paint. So this next one is called Flashing Pearl. That's absolutely beautiful. That is so glittery such a glittery colour um, I wonder if you can see it I'm just going to go backwards and forwards because that's what I've been told helps you to see um, let me just adjust my light a little bit I'll go off camera and adjust my light okay so I've adjusted my light a little bit I think you can see this better I mean it is silver and pearl white so it's a little bit difficult to see but Please take my word for it, it's absolutely beautiful. So now I have a flash blue. So this is like a, um, a pearl blue in the Colero paints that I've got. It's really stunning. Um, now these sort of colours I would put on top of pencil or maybe even alcohol marker. Of course, not on top of water-based markers because it will dissolve and 
create a mess but on top of alcohol marker or pencil um, it would look gorgeous another pearly sort of colour so this is pearl platinum I really do like these pearl sort of colours because if you want a subtle effect you can just place it on top of your pencil so now flash yellow oh, I am very impressed with these colours I have to say I mean you get 48 colours and I think there is a discount on Amazon UK um, but if you think about it, because you're getting so many paints, let me just see, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, because you're getting so many paints, they work out significantly cheaper than the Etsy paints. I would say that they are more pearlescent than shiny, shiny metallic in your face. But this, I have to say, this flashing pearl is absolutely gorgeous really really beautiful um, and I'm just going to mention again that um, Paul Rubens do have some oil pastel new oil pastel sets I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the this video um, so I think there are introductory prices on that there might be a discount, I think, on one of them. So I will link all that information below. So that's a lovely deep interference yellow. So now we've got deep interference orange. Look how bright that is. That's just so stunning. It looks brighter, actually, in um, real life than it does on camera. But of course, you can only tell what the colour looks like uh, ultimately when it dries you've got symphony yellow so there's lots of different shades of yellow but I am very impressed with these so far extremely impressed okay, so I'll just do this one row and then I really like that as a green green gold I'll just do this one row and then I'll do the rest off camera because I know that swatching isn't everybody's cup of tea and you might not want to see it okay so the last one is called bronze satin beautiful all right, so I'm going to do, well, the rest probably on camera. I might speed it up, but we'll see. Um, bring you out a little, oops, going the wrong way. So that's what they look like so far. So I'll be back in a sec.
okay so i'm back to show you the swatch so this is pretty much um dry now so i think they're absolutely beautiful so they are um you've got iridescent but also glittery colors so that's definitely glittery the flashing pearl and then the flare red looks glittery to me then we've got this one which says copper you can see a greenish tinge but there's also purple in there I don't know if you can make that out on camera and then flash blue and then flash green looks glittery to me as does the gold green the golden maroon brown green this flashing copper brown um, and this also flash purple so it looks like the flash colors are quite uh, glittery and then the other ones are either iridescent like these like the flash blue and the pearl silver white the pearl colors uh, that flash yellow is also glittery and then you've got some metallic colors so you've got a bit of a range here in you know it's quite a big range isn't it because it's a 48 set um, so I think these are well worth it um, they are just shy of a hundred pounds but you are getting 48 colours so I think it just works out just over two pounds or something if my maths is correct because my man mental maths is rubbish but I you know I think they're beautiful I am really really impressed um, by these um, I've got to say there's some absolutely gorgeous colours here uh, I particularly like this flashing copper brown now, I've got a lot of a lot of um, different metallic shiny watercolour paints if you follow my channel you'll know that I haven't particularly seen these colours too often in fact I'm not sure if I've seen them these before as well as this gorgeous flash purple and this one here this copper so some of these in my view are quite unique as well but I am very 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 impressed so what I thought we could do is I have this beautiful book, Nature. Um, it is by Diane Defoe, I think she did the Furballs book. So this is a slightly bigger book. And I thought what we could do, just put a tag in there to remind me where the page is. I thought we could do one butterfly just to test these colours out a bit. So I think I'm going to, um, let me see, should I do the top one? I might do the top one actually. So let's zoom in a little bit here. Um, this paper is not is quite good. It is it's not Amazon printed paper by any means at all. It's actually a good paper, um, and so hopefully I'm hoping that the um, I'm hoping that it can take this watercolor reasonably well. But you never know. So I'm going to use a few purples and blues purple blues and possibly even greens so let's start off with really I need a smaller brush because I always use a fine brush the one that I've got right now which I did the swatches with was the two Princeton uh, Neptune so I'm going to use the size zero I think that might be um, quite good to use Oops, so a bit too much pain on there, I think. So, so this is the what colour am I using? This is the um, Symphony Purple, which isn't as metallic as you know the others, but it is still got the iridescence to it and apparently try to do some blending as well but we will see how that goes so I'm using my one of my favorites here so this is the copper I'm just gonna merge that in there while it's wet so try to add a bit more water just to help with the blending now this is single sided book so it does help so I've just wet my brush a little bit and I'm just gonna use the water to sort of 
make it a better blend, I guess. So that looks reasonably good to me. And then what we'll do is we'll use that symphony purple again, possibly here. Now if you use less water, you will get a stronger colour of course. So there we go. And then we're going to do the same thing again and use that absolutely gorgeous copper. I think that actually might have to be my favourite colour out this entire set because it's just beautiful. I haven't seen a colour like that in all the Etsy paints that I've got and all the fine tech clear paints that I've got. I've actually not come across this colour at all. So you know what I'm like with metallic paints and shiny paints. If you follow my channel you know I'm just like a magpie really. In fact I used to be called a magpie at my last one of my previous schools. Um, which is quite funny. I love shiny stuff. I'm not into jewellery or anything but I do like paints and pens and all that sort of stuff. Right so now let's go for a few blues. So I'm just going to choose any at random. So I've got Symphony Blue now. And we'll just make this. Now this isn't exactly um, symmetrical here so hmm I'm just going to have to put this where I think I should because it's not exactly symmetrical and I would expect it to be symmetrical because it's a butterfly generally they are symmetrical aren't they unless I'm mistaken which is definitely a possibility so this is a different shade that I'm using after the symphony blue which is deep interference blue Should I don't know, should I do that bit in the same colour because otherwise it looks a bit weird. So yeah, we'll just go over that. So that's that one. Right now I'm going to use this absolutely other colour. I'm gonna say they're all my favourites now, aren't I? Because this colour here, the flash purple, I very much like. So let's do that up here. That is so beautiful. And then let's pair that with, let's see, one of our greens, the flashy greens. Maybe you've got too much paint on there. I think I have, you know. So I'm going to pop that in and then I'm going to use some water to try to blend it in. Oh, I think I've gone too far, you know. This is going to look really weird because it's not going to... I mean, there's parts of this butterfly that aren't trust me to choose one that's just not symmetrical it's just typical isn't it typical of me now I'm just using some water without paint to try to merge the green and the purple together and we also use a little bit of this blue down here
got to be careful because the other paint's quite wet as well. So don't really want it to bleed into each other. Right, let's do the edges here. And we're going to do those in... Let's look. So we do this really lovely colour here, which is golden maroon. As you can see, I am using my favourite colours here. Look, they're just, it's just not symmetrical, this. It's just not symmetrical. So, oh gosh, I think I should have done that bit. I don't know. Oh, well, it'll look okay even though, but the thing is, because it's not symmetrical, I'm a little bit... All right. It's going to look odd, but it's just a tester page. I mean, I am going to try to finish this page off, of course, not on camera because otherwise it's going to take me forever and this video is probably very long already. So, yeah, so tell you a little bit about these paints. I should actually, um, let me see, bear with me. I don't think I've described them fully yet, but I will now. So they are uh, branded as 48 unique glitter colours, 48 vibrant glitter colours. Um, they are, it does say artist grade watercolour. So they are artist grade watercolours and it says they're made of extra fine pigment, high quality Arabic gum, increases the gloss and transparency. Um, which makes the colour more soluble and I have to say that the paint was um, dissolved very easily uh, so that's definitely a true statement um, ultra pure pigment there's an iridescent medium which gives you the glitter effect Um, and then, of course, it's portable and, you know, you can uh, take it away with you outside because it comes in a gorgeous case. And um, Yep, I mean, on black paper, it's going to stand out significantly more as well. It'll give you a different sort of a look but most of our books colouring books are on white paper of course and you get a beautiful range of colours now it does come in other sizes so like I said you do have I'm just having a little check so I do think it comes in a 24 set as well and a smaller set than that I think 12 so you do have that now. I'm going to use, I'm just thinking, should I use a brown? I don't want to introduce any more colours actually, but let's use another green here. I think I'm going to make all these butterflies quite, quite, um, you know, using my paints all the way through. Right, where are we? That one there. So, I think this is the last bit that I'll do. Like I say, I don't want this video to be ultra long, but I wanted you to get an idea. So this colour I'm using now is the fruit green. Um, I just wanted you to get an idea of using it on sort of an image, rather than just doing a swatch. Um, I just thought that would be a bit more useful. So I will finish that off in my own time. So yeah, let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Yep, so beautiful and shimmery. Of course it's not dry yet. 
so I'm going to dry it and I'm going to come and show you it okay so there it is all dry um of course it's not finished um but i will finish it and you will see it hopefully in my end of completed april pages um so yeah that's basically the 48 glitter iridescent um paul rubin watercolor set and these are the colors once again um Thank you so much, uh, Paul Rubens, for sending me this set to show and share on the channel. Um, again, I'll mention that they have two new oil pastel sets. I think there's a floral and the other one I will mention again because I have momentarily forgotten. So we have Paul Rubens 48 colour oil pastel set, set. Here you are. H-A-I-Y-A -A, and then a 72 floral colours all pastel. I will of course link everything in the description below should you be interested in any of the products mentioned um, and i just like to say thank you so much everyone for watching and until next time, oops, until next time, take care, bye.